President Barack Obama has made more moves to protect more than two million acres of public land uh, in both Nevada and also in Utah. Now, uh, he said in a statement that he recently released, I am de designating two new national monuments in the desert landscapes of southeastern Utah and southern Nevada to protect some of the country's most important cultural treasures, including abundant rock art, archaeological sites, and lands considered sacred by Native American tribes. These two monuments are the sites of hundreds of thousands of Native American antiquities, as well as vo uh, vulnerable and important recreation areas and wildlife habitat. So this is excellent news, and if you've been following uh, Obama's uh, you know, actions to protect uh, land and conserve land, uh, you'll know and that- And water, by the way. And right. water. Uh, this, this is a pattern that we've been seeing uh, more and more of as his second term is coming to an end. And of course, there are a lot of uh, right-wingers that are very unhappy about this, especially the Clive and Bundy militants who are now enraged about what Obama did here. But it's actually really good news. Uh, this will protect Bears Ears, which is in southeastern Utah, and also Gold Butte, which is in uh, east- it, which is east of Las Vegas, Nevada. Uh, why? Are the Bundy guys upset that they won't be able to steal from the rest of us anymore? Of course. <laughs> uh, right. Well, so they think that this is uh, government overreach. Um, yeah. And from what I understand, too, is that they take it very personally. Like the statements that they have released, um, for, fortunately, the, the Bundys specifically have said, we don't want any more violence. We're not, you know, gearing up. But a lot of other people that were involved in the group are saying, get ready, guys. Like, let's, you know, they are, they do take this as like a personal threat, which I thought was so interesting because they're saying that Obama's never been here. He doesn't care about this land. He just cares about controlling the land. He just um, cares about protecting it. Yeah, I know, but that, but the weird thing is that the, the both sides is just the, absolutely lost in translation. For me, mm. it's it's very clear what Obama is doing here, and I support it. I you know you know how I feel about about protecting our land. I love mountains. Um, any anyway, that's not important. <laughs> I just do. But um, but so for me, it's very clear what Obama is doing, and I think it's such an amazing move that he's that he's taking, and a lot of the steps he's taking in his second term. But for this other side, they view it as this just this absolute infringement on what they perceive as their land, and sort of this wild. West mentality, which yeah. is it's just not, re it's not it's, reality. It's, it's not the world that we live in. It's not your land. And uh, the reality is that public opinion polling indicates that the vast majority of individuals living in these states and in these areas are in favor of what President Obama is doing in his conservation efforts. Now, what Obama is doing is also really important when you consider the fact that uh, drilling has and fracking has become a huge problem. So he's gone out of his way to uh, conserve uh, some portion of the oceans, including the Atlantic Ocean, from drilling. I, I love Arctic, that he's yeah. uh, yes, exactly, and I love that he's doing all this stuff. It's important. Understand that the group of people that are whining about this are very, very small, and it does include some lawmakers in these states. So let's get to that. Uh, so Representative Bob Bishop, who's a Republican lawmaker in Utah, has been a vocal critic of a Bears Ears National Monument. Bishop has also met twice with President-elect Donald Trump's transition staff to discuss de-designating national monuments and repealing or limiting the Antiquities Act, uh, the act allowing presidents to create national monuments. And then there's also Representative Jason Chaffetz. Uh, he said... It, that the president's midnight proclamation disrespected, I'm sorry, disregarded the comprehensive bipartisan solution he and others have been working on. Attorney General, Sh General Sean Reyes said his office is planning a lawsuit over the monument, calling it extremely disappointing that President Obama has declared another national monument here in Utah, ignoring the voices of so many in our state, particularly those closest to the designated space. Well, 71% of Nevada voters support the Gold Butte National Monument, Oops. and 71% of Utah voters support the Bear Bears Ears National Monument. So um, how about drink a huge tall glass of shut up juice um, because the people living in these states actually want to protect this land. So there, there are two different uh, people here that are in the minority. Uh, and, and one is the, the Bundy guys and they think, well I know it's not my land, it's, uh, fe it's federal government land meaning it's all of your land. But I'm here and I want my cows to graze and I want to do it for free instead of paying the fee that I'm supposed to pay to you guys. Right? I don't want to pay that fee, I just want to cheat. Right? Mm -hmm. So that's how we got into the first Bundy mess in the first place. And they're like, oh, now more land that I can't steal from. That's yeah. so annoying. Um, yeah, because they view it as, no, 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 
when it, we mean American land, we mean me, 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 me. Uh, my land, not your land. I don't want you having any rights to it. Grace, you want to go on mountains? I don't give a damn about you wanting to live, go on mountains. No, no, no. I get to take that land because America means me and not you. So that's, and you're wrong about that. It means all of us, including 71% of the people in those states. And then the second group of people are the donors. So those Republicans, they care a tiny little bit about the Bundy guys, but it's mainly a prop, right? So the Republican guys are like, oh, you guys want to drill there? Oh, this is an outrage. Uh, I, this midnight proclamation is so terrible. The American people are against uh, what Obama did here. Can I get the next check, please? Right? They, they want to allow drilling and all that they stuff. They want to sell off the yeah, land. I mean, why, right. why would you want to protect your pristine land if you love it so much? Don't you want to sell it to some company from another part of the country? Don't you want to sell it to a multinational corporation? Mm -hmm. Obviously. So that it could be American land? And then also, every time these militants, especially the, the Western militants who seem like the most active recently, uh, get all fired up about one of these issues, Yes, there, there's the, the, the dollars and cents of you know, wanting to steal uh, the land from the rest of us and graze on it without paying the fees that other uh, ranchers in the area do. But then there's also, I mean, these are desperate people who want to be in the spotlight again. They want to be you know, up in Oregon again. They want people to be paying attention to them because it's not just about the individual issues. It's about them feeling like they need to fight as you know, their forebearers have against federal government. Uh, in all these issues. That's why they went up to Oregon, why they got involved in an issue that had absolutely nothing to do with them. It's because they want to be involved in this fight. They want to eventually martyr themselves. They want to be uh, involved. And so, look, it doesn't matter to them that over 70% of the population is in favor of this. They just want to be a part of the conversation. It's the George Zimmerman complex. Yeah. Slash O.J. Simpson, by the way. Well, and you know, and another thing. So they're not just protect, protecting the the resources and the land, but also it's protecting an important part of American history, um, which I think is really important. There was a quote from this that I thought was really powerful, which was, "Our history, the native history, is written in stone on canyon walls. We celebrate knowing our history. It bears ears. Will be protected for future generations forever." That's an important component that I think we overlook. Um, I'm sure we, the Bundys respect that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, no, I don't know why I didn't resonate with the militants, um, but I think that's another component to this story on top of just protecting water and land um, that we are protecting a history that otherwise yes. you know it doesn't seem to be important for so many people in this country unfortunately you know yep I, but, I totally agree but sad day for them the president has made this proclamation and it is actually very hard to overturn so uh, rarely do I get to say this but we've been saying it a lot lately because he's running out of time and and hence finally doing some of the progressive things that we had hoped for for eight years thanks Obama we are the watchers on the wall. We are the sword in the darkness. Come join us. TYTnetwork.com slash join.